You notice that second one, her head's up and she's chewing her cud? That would be the one known as Ruby, the one who's sick. I'll be honest with you, that's the first time I've seen her chew her cud in at least three or four days. Not that I'm in the barn all the time, but, you know, in and out. Last night she was standing crosswise to that feeder, just standing there, off in the zone. She heard me step up above her, and she kind of looked up. So, Shane, Ryan, Bruce, we all chatted last night about this. Am I sure about the other thing I was thinking? No, I wasn't sure to begin with, but everything makes sense. She still got something besides pneumonia going on? I have no idea. But I also don't give up until I know there's no more. And number one also kind of has a thing. Uh, most of you know she can feel spirits and that kind of thing. And uh, a lot of you, if you ever really been around livestock a lot, doesn't matter if it's a cow or a horse or you know, goats and sheep, they always got the dumb look on their face. But when they're done, they pretty much kind of tell you. And number one was saying she felt like it was close, but she didn't say it, you know, that she decided she was done. And I haven't seen that in her either. Even as dehydrated as she was the other day, her eyes still had a shine to them. Still life there. So, like I say, I'm very hopeful right now. I, she could just be grinding her freaking teeth, too. We've seen that. One that's too sick to do anything. But if they're just grinding their teeth, usually there's foam running out their mouth. So, fingers crossed, y'all will know at the end of the day how the day went anyway, but... Hey, 5.30 in the morning. She's laying there in a spot she hasn't... Doesn't normally lay, I should say. I don't know if she hasn't laid there. And she's chewing her cut. I'll take that as a small step forward. Must be 6 o'clock. Garbage truck's here. So, hey, now it's 6 o'clock Friday morning. Figured I'd better get you what I could before it was gone. Or I blink and don't see it. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention earlier. Yesterday we were not frozen in the morning. It was a nice change of pace. Yeah, 28 degrees this morning. It's still got another hour before we hit the cold part. Yay! Just figured I better catch this. Well, I still could. And hey, get the flag. Got to remember that when I'm out here, right? And I noticed something. That's that other set of fuel tank hangers. Number one, clean them up. Took the, she took the little wire wheel to them, and so I told her, take the big one. It's a lot quicker and better. And then she left them out here last night. I didn't realize they were here. I was working on the interior parts, melting plastic and, you know, getting cross-eyed. It's kind of like huffing fumes when you're painting, you know? No, I tried not to breathe that stuff. Um, so I didn't realize it was here when I walked out of the shop in the dark. Well, almost it wasn't dark, but it wasn't light either. As my plan this morning was get those fixed up to hold those air tanks. That was my plan. I should take them in and put them back by the stove so they'll dry off so I can actually play, play with them and do something. Maybe I'll do that. Well, between what Wade said in a comment last night and me watching a few videos after I did all this yesterday, see if this will work. I made my own little spoon, iron, whatever you want to call it. I didn't have the proper materials, so that's 
just a piece of, I don't even know if it's eighth inch round stock. That's a stainless steel piece I used for the foot. See if it'll warm up enough. And then of course these stupid little screws, they're barely, focus again, dang it, anyway. They're barely big enough to do anything. And I ended up taking both of them clear out to get the other one apart because the other one was just stuck in there. So that one's not the original one. That's a self-tapping screw, roughly the right size. I got it in a little longer because when the old screw came out, give you an idea how little that freaking thing is, it took the threads off the end of it, of course. So it's junk. Thank God for having a slight selection. That's just one of the mini trays. This is all the miscellaneous smaller ones. I don't know what material this is made of. I mean, it's naturally silver. It may be stainless. It doesn't feel like brass. Sorry, but I'm going to get rid of this screw before it gets mixed up with the others. Um, maybe brass that's coated. Maybe stainless. I'm kind of going with maybe it's stainless. Not magnetic. But you know, hold on to it when it's been sitting here and it's cold. Yeah, yeah. We'll see if this works. Okay. There's a before. There's an after. It's working. Looks worse in the video than it does looking at it. I got that one smoothed down really nice. It's going to be that way. I may still take the flap disc and lightly brush it. I don't know. We'll see. I got the stuff the other end done. That's my last one to do. Um, it's working. But this stupid thing doesn't feel like it's getting as hot as it was. I mean, yesterday I couldn't put my fingers down there. I had to hold it up in here. You just bumped down here and you definitely woke up. And it is not getting that hot. It's not a problem holding it right here. So, I'm using that little bugger to heat it up good and get most of it. Looks like I got a spot here I need to hit again. Right. Get my finger in the right spot. Right there. Yep, there's a pretty good lip. So, smooth that off, then heat it up again and do that. But, hey, it'll be done. I may look into actually buying the proper equipment for this at some point. Because, God knows, you know, I've epoxied so much of this kind of stuff. Made small metal pieces and screwed or riveted it to it so you got get a corner back on one so you can do something you know kind of like I did here I still got to drill a hole in there but I got to figure out where it goes the other corner broke off through the hole so at least I knew where the hole was but that's what I got red man send money we had too many dogs with problems you know when it rains it pours he uh had a little lump like maybe he had an abscessed tooth yesterday. Or maybe he'd gotten a bee sting. Well, it was in his cheek. It wasn't into his jaw, so rules out a tooth for the most part. So he got a Benadryl yesterday. He was the same all day long yesterday. It never did changed. So we have and, of course, you know, me in the mornings, I don't Get see him very well because it's in the dark. Put your face on camera. Bye, bye. That whole left side of his face oh, clear out sweet. to his nose if he'd look down you could probably see more yeah no he wants his camera uh, if, if the other side was swelled up like that he'd, he'd look like old meathead pappy boyington's dog meathead and then we have one with a broken leg that we fixed oh yeah he's got that wrap on his yeah the only one that's healthy is whiskey rainy did get her biopsy back and we're happy to say no cancer so she's good to go. She has to wait till next Thursday to get her stitches out. She'll be running like the wind like she is now. In the meantime, Blue's got a leg wrapped up and Red's got a 
swelled up face. I didn't see it until number one got here. And, you know, I mean, I'd say I don't stare at him in the face every morning. And when I see him first thing in the morning, it's dark out. I just see that there's a red dog. I can't tell the difference between him and Rainy in the dark. So that's how our day is going. He is apparently going to get to go down to the vet where Rainy had her surgery and spend the day down there. They normally don't have much room for dogs to sneak in, but, you know, being his face is all swelled up. I mean, that's even clear back to his ear. It's a straight line. And if there should be some definition there. So hopefully it doesn't cost an arm and a freaking leg. Because God knows we've got enough vet bills. And he's usually been lucky enough to not have too many issues. But, you know, it happens. And I just laid it down. I know I did. I didn't opt for... I tried scrubbing a little bit on this one with a flap disc just by hand. And it wasn't going to work out. So... Took the heat gun, straightened the one corner up, and kind of went over a couple spots, made it look a little better. Put that in and get the interior done, get the radio in and actually see if it works. I can sit here and jam out all day. Yeah, now that the other dogs came back in, you can see poor Blue. If he'd move again, he's got that nice bright green vet wrap on there so we can see him in the dark. It matches the color of his toy, and I almost, in the half dark last night he walked past me and I thought it was a toy rolling past me and I almost took, stepped over and kicked it that wouldn't have been a good thing oh well way too long a video for so far so I'll probably put this up at lunch just because I don't know what the rest of the day is going to bring there it is radio's in and working actually sounds pretty good all that's done so, I just closed that window, and I'm going to close the door so we can try to keep it somewhat clean in here, now that it's together. So, thank you all for watching. And quick update on the cow. She was chewing her cud this morning. She actually pooped. It wasn't thick like it had been. It was fairly loose. She ate her grain. She's eating a little bit of hay. Uh, she tells me she's got a video for me, too, so that'll come up on tonight. Um, she's not drinking any water yet, though. I don't like that. But time will tell.